Hey, what's going on, my Godzilla and Kong fans? It's your boy, Burn Godzilla Fan 1954, and we are back with another figure review video. But before we get into this, um, I wanted to tell you guys something real quick. So, there's a new, there was a new figure store that had a grand opening um yesterday, and I bought me a couple of figures, and this is um well figures and sets, and this was one of the sets that I got. So I'll be making a couple more figure reviews um either later on today or in a couple of days from now. Just going one by one about what I got and everything. Um, there's like one thing though that I can't do a figure review on. I could, I just have to show you in one of the videos because it's it's kind of a big figure. Um, so yeah. Um, anyway, so here first we're gonna review kind of I'll kind of go from smallest to biggest. So we're gonna review the Godzilla vs. Hedora. Mezco five points extra large set right here. So here's the box right here. Um, I already took all my stuff out of the box, so I'm just showing you guys um the box first. So it comes with two poison orbs right here. <clears throat> comes with an eye beam. Um, you can attach this little piece right here to his right eye, like it's uh, injured or it's closed. He has his flying form. Uh, four buildings right here, and then Godzilla, which is King of the Monsters right here. So, yeah. So, let me put this box up real quick. And then, let's get the stuff. Okay, so here we have all the stuff right here. So, first I'm going to start off with the stands right here. Now, I kind of did this, and I'm not too mad about it because there's different ones. But, when I try to put this piece right here, this piece is very hard to put into the stand right here because this is for the flying etera and I kind of cracked it a little bit which is my fault because it would just not it wouldn't just go in but I figure out a way to put it in so this right here is a stand here's the little pole thing you put on and then here's the flying etera right here so I'll show you guys that right there here's a the little stand you can see the Mezco sign right there and yeah, I honestly like the paint that they did on this guy. I like the paint that they did on him better than they did on the final form header. So yeah, we're gonna put this on there like so. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna push down because I don't wanna break it anymore. But yeah. So there's flying I'm gonna say head Hedora. It might be header, it might be Hedora. I don't really know exactly how to pronounce it because people pronounce it differently. So I'm just gonna say Hedora. So yeah. So there's that. I'll show you guys a closer look at that again. And I really like how that what they do with the eyes right there. So yeah. So there's that. Here's the two base stands you get obviously for the from the Mexico sets and everything like that. Show you guys that. Okay. So here is the two uh also the two orb thingies. I like how they did this is actually my first ever orb or orbs from um Godzilla vs. Hedra, so um, I'm actually glad I got these. Obviously, all this is going to go in a Ziploc bag because if you guys don't know this, um, anything like extra pieces like this, all of this goes in the zip, Ziploc bags and I label them just so I can keep them safe and everything and not have them like everywhere on my shelves and they take up space because I mainly put figures on my like tables and stuff like that. So, yeah. Um... So here's this piece right here. This piece right here is what's supposed to go on his right eye. So we're going to put that on his right. Well, first I'm going to show you guys hetero. So you can move his arms all the way around. Not that much you can really do with this guy right here. Uh, you can't move. You can not. You can't move his tail and you can't move his feet. So yeah. But you can move his head though, which is kind of cool. So really it's just the heads and the head and the arms. So, we're going to put this on here, like so. Let's see. Okay, so we have his eye covered up right there. And then, here's this little uh, red beam effect right here, which, if you guys see right there, there's a little hole right there. So, we're going to put it right there. And there we go, we have Hedera. With this little beam effect like that. Okay. And then we have the four little buildings right here. Which two of them come, I think two or three of them, yeah. Come out of smoke. I mean, with smoke on the top, so I'll show you guys that. I like the little buildings too that they do with this. So, I think those are pretty cool. So, I'll show you guys all that. And then we got this little, like, kind of 
storage storage building or like a little house. I'm not like 100% sure. So yeah. But yeah, here's Hedera right here. I like how they uh, did this figure. I give this figure a, literally a 8 out of 10. The only thing that, that I think they could do better is if you could have moved his feet and his tail at least left to right. That's it. Other than that, I think it's a pretty good figure. And then we have Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Uh, we really can't do much with this, um, but you, I like the paint that they did on him. You can see the little um, eye injury, or not eye injury, but the little um, eye effect right here on his uh, left eye. And then you can see him kind of looking up and everything. Uh, so, of course, you can move his arms right here. I think you can move his tail. Uh, I'm not going to force it, so no, you can't move his tail. Uh, but you can move his arms and his legs, and then I think you can move his head, too. So, yeah, you can move his head. But I'm not going to force it. I'm not 100% sure about the tail, but it doesn't look like it, and I don't want to force it. So, yeah. Um, But, yeah, other than that, uh, the whole set, I give it a 9, nine out of 10. I give the whole set a 9 out of 10. Because um, I like Kadora. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of it, because it's, like, it's not one of my top 10 kaiju, but it's, like, um... Definitely maybe top 50 in the Toho, but because there is a lot of kaiju. It's it's somewhere in my top 50. Because I'm not 100%. I'm not really, because um, I'm not really sure how people go about kaiju in the Toho series. Because we all have our different opinions. Some people can go by the different variations and the number. Or they can just go by the one name kind of thing. Like, so, like, for example, there's two different kinds of heteros in the Toho, not including the singular point. But you have the 19, what is it, 1971 hetera, and then you have the Final Wars hetera. So you have two of those. So do you consider those one kaiju, or do you consider those two because they're two different variations and they came out in different years? So it, it kind of all depends on how you want to do it like that. Technically, they are the same kind of you, but they did they both have different histories and um, powers and, you know, stuff like that. So it just depends on how you want to um, put it like that. So, yeah. All right. So that's going to be it for this figure review right here. Like I said before, there's probably going to be some more later today. I'll make a post about it, you know, stuff like that. Y'all will be able to see it. Uh, go check out my TikTok and Instagram because I'm also going to post uh, stuff on there too. So yeah, thank so you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.